Rich Stoll. I come from the north side of Chicago, uh, and I work as a caregiver. I've done that for about four years. My son is quadriplegic in a car accident. He has caregivers. The guy I take care of is quadriplegic from a car accident that happened about 15 years ago. Uh, he has no brain injury, so even though he's stuck in that wheelchair, he's a very active, very engaged person. He's got a job, but there's no way that he can get out of bed, have a shower, have some meals, all that kind of stuff, get him in the clothes, and all that kind of stuff to get to the job. That's why I'm at his house at 6 o'clock in the morning, so he can be at his job at 9.30. to have. 20 years ago, a guy like him would be stuck in a room somewhere, stuck in a bed somewhere, and never seen a lot of that. That's, and that's why this program is so important. My name is Nancy Sullins, and I've worked for home care for eight years for Addis. I can't believe I'm here again fighting for these blood cuts to stop. I have a, I have a lady that I take care of in her home. She has a disabled daughter to lose her as well. I have had to take myself kind of out of the homemaker situation and, and, and care for her daughter as well as her because her job as a parent was to take care of that disabled daughter. And when her health failed to where she could not do it anymore, I stepped in and I started helping her help her daughter. So whenever I go in three days a week, I cook their meals for them. If I wasn't in there cooking their meals, they'd be eating banquet chicken and microwave meals. And that's not healthy, especially for people with heart conditions. So the three days a week I am in there, I cook them healthy meals and we freeze them up so they can easily pop them in the microwave and be able to eat a healthy meal. Without me, both of those people will be in a nursing home and an institution because their family members cannot afford to stop working with their jobs to keep them at home. And it's not fair. Our senior citizens and our people with disabilities have a right to have a say where they live. They don't need nursing home care yet. They don't want nursing home care yet. But the legislators are going to tell them, you're going to have to go there anyway. Well, you know what I have to say to that? No, they don't. Because we have the power of the vote. And we will get people in there that will keep our services going. If they don't want to, we can vote them out. is they have a way to say 